Welcome to Pro Tips. Hi, I'm Dean Wedekin with MaxiLift, and this is another in our series on bucket elevator inspections. Now, wouldn't it be nice when you're trying to inspect the buckets and the belt to be able to see them all go by very slowly? Something like this. That's certainly possible if you have a variable speed drive like we have on our little sample bucket elevator here. Some of you have things like that, a variable speed drive or a creep drive, but many of you don't. And that's a problem because it would be great to be able to see everything go by slowly. Tell you what, you do have that possibility and it might be right there with your smartphone. You can go to the photo setting, switch it to slow motion, and you're gonna be able to see everything in a slow motion speed. You can pause it and take a look and make sure that everything is looking good or see if you have any problems. It'll give you the opportunity for a great record down the road. Let me show you how this works. First of all, I'm gonna show you a photo of a bucket elevator that I had the opportunity to look at earlier this year in Canada, as a matter of fact. It's got great looking Tiger Tough buckets on there. It's a still shot. You can see the belt, the lagging on the head pulley, but it doesn't tell you much except just a very short uh, section of the belt and buckets. If we go next to this uh, slow motion video, it'll start out at full speed, but then it's gonna slow down to the slow motion feature. Now in this case, I was running it with the product in there, but you can run it empty, and that's obviously what you wanna do to see the, the condition of all the buckets and the belt. But you can use this to see the discharge patterns. You can see a lot of detail in this, individual kernels flying out of the buckets. You can see in this case, there's a negative air system that's drawing air into the bucket elevator, which keeps everything a lot cleaner. But the nice thing about this, once again, is that you can stop it, you can pause it, you can continue on around, you can take a slow motion video from lots of different directions and keep them to have a great record down the road and make sure that you know what's happening with every bucket, with the splice, with the belt, and you can even use it to inspect the belt lagging as well. So I hope that you've used this feature and have an opportunity to make sure and have a good record of what's happening with your bucket elevator. You don't have to have a creep drive or a variable speed drive, just use the slow motion feature on your smartphone. There's a lot of other things you can learn in this series on bucket elevator inspections. Go to maxilift.com to find all of our pro tips or do a search on YouTube. Type in MaxiLift INC. I'm Dean Wedekin for MaxiLift and Pro Tips.